Welcome to the Feathercoin community. My name is Vivi and today we're going to look at how we can download the Electrum FTC application and to install our very own software wallet on our own computer. The Electrum FTC application allows you to store your private keys on your own device and thus safely access your very own Feather coins from your own computer. Other advantages of the Electrum FTC wallet is that it quickly synchronizes, it uses double authentication, and it's very user-friendly and comprehensive to use. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through it on how you can download it. So let's go to our github.com slash feathercoin minus foundation website. On this website, you will find further going information about the foundation and about Feathercoin. We also have other links there where you can access more information. But we can walk you through this in another tutorial if you like to. So let's go and click the Electrum minus FTC link. On this site, you will see further information about how to get started with Electrum and also you can see questions from other community users, well community members and users. So let's scroll down to the very bottom of the page and here you have a more detailed overview on how to get started with Electrum. So if this tutorial does not answer all your questions, you can have a read here, maybe there is more information you, you needed. Or you can comment your questions in the comment section below and we'll be get back to you. The link to this website is also in the description below. So you can just double click that. And you don't need to have your very own GitHub account to access this link. So let's get started. Here I'm going to use the Mac link because I'm working on a Mac. But for the Windows users, you can see here the further explanation. And for Linux, you have more information down here. So let's go to the release page and we'll see more links for the download of the Electrum wallet. So I'm going to use the .dmg link as this is the standard link to use. So just hit that and it will connect and start downloading. So we also invite you to take a little look further on our GitHub site and really explore our community as we're very open to new members and you can always reach out to us if you have further questions. Now let's open the wallet as it is downloaded. So it's just verifying now and opening up. This will take just a couple of seconds and here we are. Now I'm gonna double click it to open the download. I'm gonna trust it, so let's click open here. And without further ado, let's get started. So now we already have our, I'm just gonna close that. And now we have our very own Electrum FTC wallet. For the wallet, we can use a new name. You can have several wallets on one device. So if you like, you can if you have several usages, you can also use a different name. For this tutorial now, I'm just gonna stay, stick with the default wallet name. But here you can type in whatever you like. But I'm gonna stay with default wallet. So let's click next. Here it's going to ask you if you want to create a default wallet and if it, this is going to be a standard wallet, a multi-signature one, or to import Feathercoin addresses or private keys. The difference here is that the standard wallet is a, is a single person use, it's single user sign in. This allows you to send and receive Feather coins. The multi-signature wallet uses, as the name says, it uses multi-signatures to access the wallet. This gives you more security, but also it needs several users' signatures to log in. The import the Feathercoin address option is a watch-only wallet. Therefore, in this wallet, we could we would not be able to send and receive any Feather coins. Therefore, I'm sticking with the standard wallet. So let's hit next and we can it will ask us if what kind of key store we're looking for. So here we're going to create a new seed as I'm really going to walk you through and how to set up from scratch. You could also use a public or private keys if you have or you can use a hardware device. But the hardware device option will show you in a later stage. 
in a different tutorial meaning. Okay, let's create a new seed. The seed is crucial as this allows you to restore a wallet if something would happen. And it's, it's um, unique and every sign-in has a different seed. The next question will be, what kind of seed type do we want? Here we have the option between the more old legacy standard option or the more modern SegWit option. We're going to go with SegWit here. Let's see what kind of seed will be generated and a new seed is generated. The seed is a sequence of words, uh, 12 words, which is crucial for the restoration of your wallet. The sequence of the words is also crucial. So sometimes it will ask you, what is the seventh word of your seed? And here it would be winter. Now, we need to write down the seed so we have it for further backup in the future. I don't recommend you um, storing the seed on your device as if your online wallet will be hacked, your computer may also be hacked. Therefore, I recommend you using a piece of paper, write down the sequence and so store this safely in your home. So I'm going to write down the seed. I also number the seed as this is just, it allows me to more quickly then find what is the fourth word, what is the third one, etc. So I'm just going to write it down on a piece of paper. Now that we have written down our seed, I'm going to click next and it asks us to re-enter the seed. Now here we have to be careful as if we have a typo, it will not take, take it and we need to re-enter it. You also are not able to copy paste the seed for security reasons. Here, now we have the option to click next. If it would have a typo or a word is missing, this option is not given to you. So this will be your indi indicator if your seed is entered correctly. So now let's hit next and now we can create a password. Here you can choose whatever kind of password as this will be the password you will enter each time you access your wallet from your own computer. Now this is only a medium one, but please make sure you have a safe one and you will have some characters and other um, numbers, lower and upper case spelling and so on. Let's hit next. And our, it is generating our address. Now our Electrum wallet is all set up. And here you have on this little tab, you have the history of all your past transactions. As this is a new wallet, obviously my history is empty here. Down below you see the balance of your, F, your Feathercoin account. To send some Feathercoins, you can enter the key here. You can also write a little description about the transaction. For receiving the Feather Coins, your key is here in the receiving address. And this is the QR code for the receival of the word of Feather Coins. You can also enter a description here if you'd like to. Now we're all set up with our Feathercoin Electrum wallet. Now we can safely send and receive Feathercoins. So I hope you will have the option to send and receive many Feathercoins. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. And for questions, please comment them below. Thank you and goodbye.